Good morning, everybody. We're going to finish up this discussion which started as layers with the concept now of just a preliminary concept of habits and blocks. If you remember, I talked a little bit about habits. Habits would include th such things as having your toolbars maybe in the same place. But that's not the kind of habits we're really worried about. Okay, it is more, close up a couple toolbars here. It is that fact of using layers, drawing a box, starting by drawing a box bigger than the thing that you're drafting. That kind of stuff is what I would call a habit. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that my layers toolbar is up. Right click any toolbar, there's up a set of toolbars there. And if you remember that there, I can go to layer manager here and make sure everything's on. So right now when I turn that on, I have that box. I'm zooming out here, I'm left clicking and I'm hitting the delete key, which is not turned on yet. So turning on my keyboard never fails every morning. Forget to turn on that keyboard. Um, so we want to make sure that we are getting learning to draft or at least leave things on the correct layers, which gets us to the point of what is the layer zero used for. And the layer zero fundamentally is used for this concept of repeating shapes or blocks. It is the universal chameleon, if you would. So you generally don't want to give your layer zero any kind of color or anything. It's just the universal chameleon. So if you remember, we can kind of change our current layer by going here. We can change our current layer by going to the layer manager. There's all kinds of different ways to change your current layer. We notice that we've got all of our layers except for hidden and center set on continuous. Layer zero is set on zero. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and draft a pretty simple structure here. Um, um, a, a kind of an odd long bent bar. How's that? Long, long odd bent bar so we can see some skills. We're going to go with the center line here. And I'm not going to, I'm going to draft my box, I guess, 100 by 100. Hit here at 100, comma 100. That, of course, shouldn't be on layer center line, so I can click on it. Best general skill is to click, right click, and go to properties and change it to the view layer. That is going to be, for me, we're going to keep that view around. That's a habit we really want to start. And realistically, right away, I'm escaping, escaping, escaping. Zoom E, minus V for view, W for window. I'll call that my plot view window, which will be reserved pretty soon for a very particular box based on the golden ratio. So we're going to go from here to here. So I have a view set. Now I'm going to draft just by by look. Now I'm going to kind of go here. Got my F8 on. Then I'm going to turn off my F8. I'm going to go at 10, I'm sorry, 20 angle of 30, right? I'm going to go at 40 angle of minus 30, and then at 10 angle of 90. I have no idea what that is, but I'm now going to fillet it, F-I-L-L-E-T, with a radius of 5. So I'm going to grab this one here, this one here, grab this one here, and this one here, and grab this one here, and this one here. This now is some sort of centerline piece. I'm going to P-edit it. Like that, yes. Join, window, don't do the multiple, you just do the grabs. There's a, there's a multiple polyline edit. All right, that is a piece. Let's assume that it's 40 wide. I'm going to offset. Now, you'll notice what happens when I assume this is 20 wide aside. Something odd is going to happen at the curves. I obviously don't want 20. I'm just going to offset 3 aside. And based on our curves here, this will actually all offset OK. I'm going to draw a line from the end point here to the end point there. Line from the end point here to the end point there. And now obviously, or not so obviously, at least these are different types of line types or different things. So I'm going to grab all the way across here first and change them to the object layer. Go ahead and I can change it. Remember, right click, change your properties, change all those properties to object. Getting these habits very quickly and then even P editing. P edit. Yes, join. Uh, 
I've got a closed shape. All right, now let's say that whatever that piece is for, let's say I need to lighten it up by putting some holes in the center. And I'm going to put them at a certain, and it's, it's going to be a design constraint. So the, those holes at their very core are a repeating shape. So I'm going to eventually make something called a block to make the holes. The lock will be on layer 0. And I am then going to show you up the divide and measure command as it truly should be drawn. And the divide and measure command are up here in the point commands. They are not point commands. They are block commands. So I'm going to go ahead and just remember how long it is across here by going align, shift, right click, near to there, perp to there, and then list last. Listing the last is a pretty a good one. All right, I'm going to now, I, I kind of determined that I really going to need some metal out on the sides. That six is too much. I'm going to try with a four. I'm going to start with a circle that is a four inch. Um, diameter. So I'm going to do that by going ahead and just drawing a circle, not necessarily on the piece. I'm just going to draw it a circle out in space and I'm going to put that circle on layer 0. So right there I'm going to go to layer 0. I'm going to draw, I'm thinking or, or, or seeing a repeating shape, center diameter here with a diameter of 4. And now I'm going to use something from the command called a a block command, a minus B command. It's someplace, you know, all over. There's a lot of places for it, but learning to do minus B for block, block name, I'm just going to call it hole. Not a great one, but base point is generally on a, is going to, and a circle is very often going to be the center. I'm going to grab my objects. I do that now so I can actually now, it's on layer zero. I'm not going to bring things back on layer zero. I'm going to make, bring a layer called holes. Once again, remember, you can go to Layer Property Manager. I can go to Object. I can click here and then make a new layer called Holes. Those holes, I guess I'll make them a different color by clicking here and saying maybe I'll make those holes to be blue, not magenta, so they can stand out and hit OK. Double click to make sure that's my current layer. And the opposite then of a block would be an insert. So I can do something called an insert. I can find the hole. I need to specify where it's going to go. I can hit OK here. I'm going to put it, shift right click, at the end point there. Now that's one hole. And that might be what we want. But probably if we're trying to lighten this thing up, it's more likely what we're going to be putting a series of holes. You put a series of holes or put a series of blocks, typically not points, using the measure or divide command. And if you think about these holes where this is 40 across. I might want to hold every 60. So here's how we go about doing that. Go ahead and I'm going to get rid of that. Remember, we're still hitting a race here. You use the, I'm going to hit a pause here and go check on something. I'll be right back and finish this up, showing you how you go about using blocks. I'm resuming here, show you kind of a nice thing to learn to do is to learn to pin that down here. Now I got my point commands all here. Remember, these commands are not point commands, they are block commands. By going measure, and then I select my object to measure, and then specify length of segment or block, and my block is whole. And now my length of segment I said was 60, and I see nothing there. Well, let's see what my problem is. I can do something called a B edit and go to hole and there's my hole. Uh, let's see that those blocks should have come in. Let's check to see that our zero layer is not frozen. I do not think it's the case. I'm going to pause here until I figure this out. But what should have happened is it should have dropped a hole and it did. It looks like it dropped points. It didn't drop a hole. So I'm going to pause here and do this and then be done with it. I just hit something wrong so let's try it again. We're going to do a measure command, select object to measure. You're going to tell it block here, and then you're going to give the name of the block as whole. You want to align the block yes with the object, and length of segment was 60. I think I just gave it the right answer at the wrong time. And there you have it, and it still didn't put it in. It did, because it's going every 60. And what I wanted was every 6, so we'll finish with that. I'll pause one time and then do it correctly and erase. Let's try it again. Remember, it's not a point command. It's measure. Select object to measure. 
block. Name of block is whole. Yes, and then length of segment six. And so you have something like that. Now, I did show you something about visual clues, not purposefully, but the fact that visual clues are really important when you get into this layering. So make your blocks on layer zero. Blocks are repeating shapes, and blocks can be made of more blocks. And then they become the universal chameleon when they come in. Thanks for listening.